This is Eyewitness News, the news leader. With Diana Williams, Shade Bedouinois, and Sam Champion with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. Some dermatologists tout chemical peels and laser peels as being able to prevent skin cancers. A very small study out this week seems to suggest that they do indeed do that. And while that may be the case, the definitive evidence is still out. Seven's on call with Dr. Jay Adlersberg. Shot a Sandra on the arms or legs. That's where these lesions can occur. And for most of us who spend too much time in the sun as kids, I'm one of them, we're all at risk for a precancerous skin problem called actinic keratosis. Two procedures used by dermatologists dermatologists may prevent actinic keratosis and some types of skin cancer, but the final word is not in yet. The idea behind this is to take away all your precancers and sun damaged skin. Dermatologist Bruce Katz is going to use a laser to resurface skin on Lillian Moran's face. I have um, sun damage from years of sun laying in the sun. Though Lillian's procedure is cosmetic, laser peels and a second type of skin procedure may help prevent precancerous skin problems like these. They're called actinic keratoses, AKs for short. They can turn into squamous cell carcinomas, a type of cancer that must be treated surgically. David Smith got a lot of sun as a kid one day recently after playing tennis. I noticed I had a lesion on my forehead and I wondered um, how long it was going to take for that to go away and I noticed that after six months it was still there. It was an AK and David had a couple of more on his arms as well. Old sun damage like these areas on Lillian's face mean more AKs may pop up with time. They're at higher risk for, for developing new ones later on. So it's really a good idea to treat them and treat the entire area so you prevent recurrences. The other preventive treatment is a chemical peel like this. These peels and laser treatments can cost between $500 and $1,000. There are a couple of studies which show that these treatments can prevent the recurrence of actinic keratoses, but they're small studies with only about 20 patients in each. Certainly uh, a definitive answer would be obtained by a much larger study, but that can take five or ten years, and most dermatologists really believe that these treatments are very effective in the meantime. Laser and chemical peeling were compared to another treatment in one of the small studies. They all had about the same benefit, benefit in preventing new AKs. For more on preventing skin cancer, see our website, 7online.com. Sade, yeah. Sandra. This is promising. Yes. Yes, really. A larger study. We'll wait. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Jay. You.